Good morning, ladies. So excited. It could be afternoon or evening when you're watching this, but it is 7.30 Monday morning, and I'm here to provide you with a quick tip on how to manage your time. So I recently received a message from Amanda Howard. Thank you so, so much for reaching out to me and asking, how do I keep track of all the stuff that is going on in my life? Well, many of you think that owning a business, <laughs> you're going to be on top of it, or maybe you don't think that. I don't know, but here's some great tips, and I'll show you how I actually manage my time to try and avoid missing appointments, meetings, dates, and all the fun stuff. Let me go ahead and mute. There you go. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to share my screen with you real quick. We're going to jump over here to Facebook. So my events, um, I do have a lot of stuff coming up. So how do I keep track of this? Um, whoa, my events that I'm going to, I'm like, where do I have all this? So right here, we have the laundry fashion show coming up this Saturday. What I will actually do is one, um, bring up my Google Calendar. So for those of you not using a Google Calendar, this is super duper important. Let me just double check and make sure that I am sharing the proper screen. We got it. So today I am, I've actually began using the Google Calendars. Today my son has teacher talk from 9 to 11 in independent study. Nothing is scheduled for, oh, just kidding, Angie's 31 party at 7 o'clock. So that's how I know that I have something going on tonight at 7. Now up here, you can change your day to the week so you can see what's going on. Tuesday, I have a meeting. Um, Taylor also has his teacher talk. Actually, Tuesday, Taylor's in school. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and go in here. Oh, there he is, Taylor in class. So he's in class from 9 to 11. I know I've got that time. <clears throat> Excuse me, he comes home. Then we've got this. So you can also go in by day. Okay, then you can shoot to the next day, Wednesday. Wednesday, lots of stuff going on. Teacher talk. I have an advanced director call. I have a training call. Um, team talk from 6.30 to 9.30. So you can go in and create these off of your Facebook calendar. So let me see, whoops, real quick. And we'll just, I don't know if you guys can actually see this or not. So let's just double check. You can, fantastic. So what I would do is this lingerie fashion show at 10 o'clock. I will go in and add lingerie fashion show. Instead of 8, it's going to be 10 a.m. This is supposed to go to... Hold on one second, please. Hold on. Back away, please. I'm recording. Thank you. Um, here, and then I'll go ahead and schedule my event. It is a money-making activity, so I move them to green. Um, this will be on Zoom and Facebook Live. You can add some notes and go ahead and save that. So now for the week, if you look at the week, I have scheduled on, ha, just kidding. I always go back and double check. So this was scheduled for Wednesday when it should have been scheduled for Saturday the 17th. And then I save it. So now I can see here what I have going on. I've also scheduled my in-home parties. So I have a one to five, then I have a seven to 11. Team talk, teacher talk, picking up Penny, almost inactive, check training.pureones.com, all kinds of fun stuff in here that I want to check out. You can also go for the month and see what you have going on for the month. So this has been how I've been able to keep track <laughs> loosely of all the things that are going on. So that way during the day, I can grab my cell phone here. Let me stop sharing real quick so you can see. 
I can grab my cell phone. First of all, turn off the light. It's just barely getting light here in California. So when I walk around the house, I've got to have my light on because the dang dogs are laying in the middle of the hallway and I've kicked them and almost tripped. I don't, can't tell you how many times. So this is what your Google Calendar will look like there. So I can go in and change the views instead of showing the whole month or actually for the next day. So you can scroll back and forth. And kind of just see what's going on. So that's how I've been using it. I hope this helps you manage your time a little bit more with Zooms as well. You can go ahead and Zoom directly, add those to your calendar.